Hey, good morning to you. <clears throat> Jesus is Lord. The word works. Just have to read it, believe it, and then do what it says. Yesterday, I started talking to you a little bit about the first miracle, the first miracle that we find in the ministry and the life of Jesus. The importance of this is what sets the precedent of things to come. We understand what Jesus did, how he did it, and why he did it. So over here in the Gospel of John, chapter 2, they were simply invited to a wedding feast. So this is not a, quote, spiritual place to be at. In fact, I'm going to tell you something. Most miracles take place in the marketplace, at Walmart, at other grocery stores, wherever you may shop, or driving down the road. Or uh, You don't have to go to church to have a miracle. In fact, you're probably better off to get your miracle if you did get it outside of church, because most churches don't believe in one anyway. Now, <clears throat> watch this. It's pretty heavy. So both Jesus and his disciples were called, and while they were there, they ran out of wine. And when Jesus uh, wanted wine, and when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto them, unto him, to Jesus, they have no wine. So this is a miracle of opulence. This is not a need. This is not a healing. This is not a, uh, a spiritual thing. In fact, it didn't cause anybody to get born again. It uh, didn't cause anybody to come to God. Uh, you know, nobody got healed of some incurable disease. So this is a, a miracle of opulence. The first miracle, get this, the very first miracle is a miracle of God doing exceeding abundantly above all that you could want, need, or desire. So your desires are important. Now, I'm going to make a statement here that makes religious folks mad. So Mary came to Jesus and said, they have no one. Jesus said unto her, woman, what do I have to do with it? People take that, well, you know, you can't make God do what he don't want to do. No, 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 no. What well, says, woman, what do I have to do with it? Mine hour is not yet. Or in other words, he was said, it's not time for me to do miracles. But... She made a demand on God and God's timing and got her miracle that day. And it was a miracle of extreme opulence. You don't have to have no wine. Uh, you know, you can have a, a, gla a glass of water. I mean, you know, they were at a marriage supper and they drank all the wine. And so it's, just, it's, a, it's a miracle of opulence or a miracle of going beyond that which a person might, quote, need into the area of what things wherever you desire. Now watch this. God didn't have anything to do with a miracle. <laughs> Jesus, God, being there, he didn't say, well, you know, they ain't got no wine. I need to give them something. No, Mary did. Mary decided what they wanted. Now watch, I'm going to make a statement. Mary decided what it was they were going to have. Mary decided when it was they were going to have it. And Mary decided the now of it or what it is, when it is, what are we going to do to get it? And she got it. See, you are the one that decides what you want and God grants you the desires of your heart. In fact, I've got an old red Dodge pickup truck. I want one that's white, not a Dodge, but I want another one. I, they make all kinds of colors so that I can get the one that I want. You, you can drive a red one till Jesus comes if that's what you like. I want a white one. Had one before and I gave it away. Well, listen, I'm the one that decides the color. I'm the one that decides the trim. I'm not going to just say, Lord, send me a truck. I might get one, you know, that doesn't have all the parts on it. No, no, no. I decide what I want. And she also made the demand on when they wanted it. They didn't need no wine a week from now. They needed it then while they were having the wedding party. So you decide the, the where, where they were having the party. You decide the what, wine that they needed at the party. And you decide the when, now, while we're at the party. Yeah, like I told you, that makes some religious folks upset and I need to say this over and over till you get it. The first miracle that Jesus did was a miracle of opulence. In other words, what he's saying is, there's nothing too big for me. I mean, it may be a set of tires for your red pickup truck. It may be to get the red pickup truck repaired. I had to do that. Took a long time to figure out what the problem was and then get it repaired. I decided to, to get it repaired 
uh, cost me, you know, several hundred dollars to get it repaired. And I decided to pay it, but I wanted it then. And I took it to two different shops and nobody could figure out what was wrong with it. And so I prayed about it. I said, Lord, you're going to have to help them and me figure this out. So you decide what it is you want. Miracle of opulence. I'm talking about they didn't need no wine. And it was, by the way, the best wine. We'll talk about that later on. And they needed it then at the party, not next week or next month. They needed it now. So, you know, you're sitting there with a um, uh, some kind of a problem going on in your body. You need to be healed today. Healing is for now. You need to be healed today. So you decide what it is you want healing. You decide where you want it, right here where I sit in my chair, and you decide when you want it. That's the first miracle that Jesus did. Mary chose the where, the what, and the when. Well, Frank is choosing the where and the what and the when. He's going to have his miracle, and so are you. So the first miracle that Jesus did was with you on his mind. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember, hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.